Hey friend, it's Steve Havel, coach, consultant, and ambassador of Sharing the Love. And this week I want to talk about your body never lies. This is about the gift of being sick. If you can get your mind around that. Now stay with me. I know it's a stretch, but I want to just lay this out so you can play it out and see if any of this fits for you. See, last week I dropped the message about when is enough enough? Like when you've had it up to here and you're ready for change. And I talked about staying up late, but there was so much more. There was a lot of stuff in the way I was eating and the way I was treating myself that just wasn't serving me. I was still in vacation mode. And I could tell my body just was unhappy. There was a lot of unrest. And within 24 hours of me leaving and landing that message for you guys last week, my body, man, I just, I shut down. I went into a deep illness. And I just purged everything. I woke up at five in the morning and just nothing could stay down. And I went to where my body, the tank was on E. I mean, completely empty. I could barely hold, I couldn't even hold down water. And I slept for like 20 hours straight. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes when you get to a certain point, you just need a reset. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had a situation where you've been pushing and jamming and just delivering the goods for days or weeks or months, but haven't been taking care of yourself? And at some point, your body just says enough and it shuts down. It's like a computer that stops working. You're clicking and you're like, well, what's up? Well, you just needs that, you know, that restart, that hard reboot that's going to go and it's going to like start up again. Hey, everything's working better. And for me, that's what happened. I had to literally purge everything out of my system. I don't know why or how it happened. There was no real influence that I saw other than my declaration. But it happens and it can be a gift and I saw it that way. When I came back online, when things fired up and I got up and I didn't want to eat that, you know, that stuff that wasn't serving me. I wanted to start fresh. I wanted to do things that honored me and I started paying really close attention to my body. It can be a great messenger. It has its own divine intelligence and it's giving you symptoms and feedback all the time. See, the universe has an incredible way of supporting us even if it's a bit disruptive or uncomfortable. So I know it's a stretch to say, take a look at illness as a gift. And that's really what I'm saying. Especially, I wanna be compassionate for those that are dealing with heavy duty illness or long-term situations. See, we manifest things over a long period of time and some things aren't corrected as easily as what I just shared with you and I get that. But it's about saying, hey, what is that telling us? What's the data sharing about what it is that needs to be addressed? Maybe it's a long-term belief that's not serving you. Maybe it's long-term, you know, some kind of trauma that needs to be healed, that's manifesting physically. Whatever it is, your body's giving you messages. The questions are, are you paying attention? And are you taking right action to help yourself, to serve yourself in restoring and bringing the best of who you are? Again, I know it's a stretch but I want to encourage you to try this on. Your body talks to you. Are we listening? Are we taking right action? So as always, three challenges, three things to try on this week to see if this concept lands for you and makes a difference. The first thing is just try it on. Think back to a time where when did illness really save your butt? When did a hard reboot of your system help you do the final delivery on that project because you had to crash at some point before it was pressure test time to deliver the goods or whatever the scenario is. Can you think back and is there any truth to this for you? And if so, then really just consider an ongoing, this is the second one, attention to what's my body telling me? What is it that's happening that's telling me where I can improve, what I can do to make my life better, or how can I overcome this challenge, whatever it is, whether it's a physical disability, whatever it is, you've seen amazing things happen with people that take their challenge, that take their illness, their disability, and they use it as a strength to inform and empower them and make lifestyle changes to all of a sudden not only overcome that limitation, but to use it as a gift, to use it as a way to inspire them and contribute in the world and inspire others that are dealing with that challenge. Where can you do that? And the third is just to be proactive. When you get those messages and you get a sense, okay, man, if my knee's been bothering me or my stomach's been upset, 
then I know I should really be more kind. I want to drink more water. I want to take probiotics. I want to look into natural methodologies, remedies, things that are maybe a little outside of the traditional box to really move me forward and really help me take right action and practice this thing called the precautionary principle, which basically means when you're faced with a choice of doing nothing or doing something, when there's a potential threat, do something. It's always better. So practice that. I hope that you recognize how you respond to your body's intelligence is going to serve you. As a dude that's almost 50, I know that the way I treat myself my next three to five years of my life is going to determine the remainder of my life. And I'm going to take responsibility for that. And I just wanted to keep it real with you. Come from the heart, share the love, put out there that thought and get courageous and bold and just lay this down so that you guys can really consider the difference this could make. I hope the message served you. If you dig it, pass it on to someone you care about. Hit the like button, hit the share button and or follow so that you can stay connected. I'll catch you next week. Until then, you know what to do. Share the love, keep it real and live your dream today.